Um, yeah, I think obviously you know you don't do it for that reason. Um, <laughs> yeah, you just do it in the moment. And um, actually, you know, I, I was waiting at the finish line. You know, Johnny was intensive care in intensive care. You know, my mum's trying to ring me and speak to me. Is your brother all right? Um, there's they're having a, an official stewards inquiry to see whether we're going to get disqualified or not. Uh, half the other athletes are like, "You're a cheat. You've just basically <laughs> pulled your brother around the race." <laughs> um, and the other half are like, "You know, this is amazing." And so literally, it's all kicking off. Um, and it, the big difference, you know, from that position to actually then the, the I guess the wider. Um, reaction that Johnny talked about was just amazing. It was like, you know, almost one extreme to the other. So, um, yeah, it, it was, it's, yeah, I guess it's fantastic to be known as someone who, who will help your brother. And this all these other kind of connotations around it about fair sport and that, although I don't think that's entirely the case because it's just something I did <laughs> in a split second. Right. But um, I think um, I'm always a bit reticent to say, you know, our experiences can translate directly to the boardroom or whatever because... Um, I don't have any experience of that world. Uh, but there's definitely a lot of things kind of we've learned along the way, you know, of how we, uh, how we deal with people and um, the kind of leaders and the people around us. And I think the first thing is that we stand on the start line. And, um, you know, uh, the biggest principle that I've taken all the way through my career and both of us have is that it's really important to stand on the start line and knowing that you're 100% res responsible for the performance you're about to do. Um, and so you've made all the decisions effectively to get you there, but there's a team of basically probably 10 people behind you and around you that help you get there. And you know that includes coaches, medical staff, physios, doctors, uh, physiologists, potentially <laughs> psychologists, although we don't use psychologists, um, or, and managers, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And all of those people have an input, and it's, um, I guess, in a way, we wouldn't necessarily always use the word leader, but how you lead them to get the most out of them to help you get to that start line in the best possible position um, and at the same time knowing that you're responsible and that, that responsibility thing has always been really important for me because um, firstly I know if I stand on that start line uh, I, I kind of feel the conviction of it if I've made those decisions and I know I've made those decisions I'm completely confident in them so I'm going to dive in and uh, go about what I'm doing with, with more conviction and then secondly if it goes wrong um, the kind of feedback is more uh, direct. So I can go, you know, this went wrong. Why did it go wrong? Was it that decision or this thing I did? And then go out and then seek the advice rather than that getting kind of jumbled up along the way and kind of relaying it through a, a number of different people. Uh, my kind of philosophy in life is I've got to achieve something every single day. And now I'm not training at the moment, so that achieving something um, involves tidying my house or tidying my, my loft or boring things like that. But I've still got to finish that day and tick things off. And so that... If I've got that goal, I'm going to do anything to achieve that goal. Um, and it's the same in, in sport. So I wake up in the morning and the first goal is a good swim session and then the next session and things like that. And I think that, that gets me through those sessions, having that aim and having that goal. So I think if you struggle with that, set yourself some, some very good and very clear goals. Uh, yeah, good question. Um, we try not to think about it too much, I think. It's just one of those things that, that's happened. But it is very, very special. The fact that um, I can, uh, before um, the two biggest races of our life, London 2012 and, and Rio 2016, we were training with, with each other you know, day in, day out, uh, leading up into that race. Um, before Rio, we were on the, um, the running track, racing each other with 10 days to go. And that's very different to any other sportsman. Normally, sportsmen like to have their own training partners and their own isolated group and, uh, uh, and then turn up to the race uh, not seeing anyone. But we're very different to that. To that. And uh, it's one thing we realize um, it's an advantage. It's a massive advantage to have. Because? Uh, because you, you've got someone who you, you, can, you can push you and everything, um, someone you can learn from. And it's different for each of us, but uh, I'm, I'm a younger brother, obviously, so I've, I've been following Alistair, learning from Alistair throughout my whole career. Well, yeah, uh, I guess in the simplest way to look at it, um, you know, Johnny sees me do something, he sees it work, so he does it, he... he I do something, he sees it doesn't work, you know, he doesn't do it. Um, and then similar to that. So it's kind of like a constant feedback of, of seeing what you should work but really quickly because rather than, you know, someone doing it, talking to a coach about it, you know, seeing if it works in a race, trying to analyze it, does it work, does it not? You know, we've just kind of done that process really quickly between us. Um, I think that the bigger part of it has literally just been um, being able to push each other in training. Firstly, you know, if you've got, we can't, there's not really anyone else or a, a couple of people in the world that you could train with across three sports and be able to push you. So to, to have someone you can do that with every day is pretty rare and obviously really good. And just being able to go through that, you know, fr from a young age, 
um, going to races all over the world and training camps to be able to do that with your brother, I think has been you know, really valuable for both of you.